we started church, before we started worship, you know, where I sit. And we were standing for prayer and stuff, and Pastor got done praying, and I, 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 I felt movement around me, and I, and I, I looked, and and I, and I felt that movement. And then once we got into worship, and I thought I heard thunder, and then I always picture when Moses went up the mountain. And, you know, the thunderings and the lightnings and the smoke and the mountain and the, you know, everything. I thought I heard the thunder. And I, then I realized it's Dan on the drums. And, but I said, Lord, okay, because that was all part of it. And to make it real to me. And I, I was, I, I know I wish I was saying out loud Lord Moses is going up the mountain and you're there and, and we're not, we're not staying, we're not staying behind, <laughs> you know? And I said, we are going up that mountain with you. We're not afraid of your glory and we're coming, you know? And I knew that his glory was in the house. Mm -hmm. I, I yeah. knew that yeah. and his majesty and it, and it drove me to the altar. No, that's, that's, that's not low enough. His glories, and I heard, I heard the music kick up. I heard Daniel start doing other things, and I heard you start mm -hmm. doing other things. Lydia got louder, and I heard things around me, but I laid out on the ground because I thought that's about as low as I know how to get because the glory was there. And, and, and so I wonder what else went on that I missed, you know, mm -hmm. that I was where I was at and stuff with the Lord. But I, and I know I said other things, but I can't, I can't pull it back. I can't recall it. But I know I was talking to the Lord about things at the very end, very end. I couldn't find my voice. You know, so many of us, our voices are gone. But that song, there's healing in his glory mm -hmm. that came to my mind, but I couldn't, I couldn't get I couldn't get it out. I had no voice to get it out. And it was just, there's healing in his glory. There's he, And so I went through that. Oh, Lord, send your glory. And I thought, no, that's wrong. I don't need to sing that because his glory's here. And so I don't need to sing that part. And it was just that there's healing in your glory. And, and so that's, that's where I was. <laughs> I, knew, I knew that a lot was going on there. Uh, how many felt the glory of the Lord in the house? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah. It was strong. Oh, yeah. his yeah. glory and his majesty. Yes. It was, yeah. it, you know, so, so, you know, all I'm hearing and seeing is, is me. And I, and I thought, what? What else went on that I that I you know okay, that I missed? Desperation, God, I I want you, I want you here, I I, I need you, you know. So it was desperation, crying out to Him, Lord God, 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 you know. So all I could say, but it was just like, I want to be with you, I want you with me, you know. Just desperation, but yeah, I was just crying, screaming out, yeah, how desperate we can be. And he should be. Yeah, he should be. But yeah, he definitely was there with us Sunday. He was. Mm -hmm. No problem. No guessing. No guessing. No guessing. I could feel like, uh, to me, it felt like the, the sanctuary filled with God. Mm -hmm. And there was swirling and movement. And to me, it just felt like he just filled the house. Mm -hmm. That there wasn't a space he wasn't. Yeah. That's what it felt like to me is that he had come. You know, and Dan's message covered it really that no matter what we've done, God forgives, God cleanses, you know. We, however, you know, how good is good enough, you know, and but with all that we've done in our lives, God still is good to us. Mm -hmm. Forgiveness, mm -hmm. you know, so. The message was perfect with what we did, you know, what we experienced just before that. Yeah. He said it was awesome in there. God's presence, he could feel it. Yeah. I like the river opened up. Mm -hmm. yeah. It felt like the Lord led us to the river of his glory and just jumped in. Huh? But here you go. Yeah, if you want him, there it is. Yeah. It was like a tingling was all over me. Mm -hmm. 
I could feel that. Yeah. And if we'll just draw close to him, even during the week, uh, he's there. He's waiting to do things in our lives outside of church you know, as we open our hearts to him. Oh, it definitely powerful presence of God in that place. It's that type that you have to kind of say, do we just stay here? You know, in the, in the seasons of just learning to be quiet and just bask in his presence. Uh, oftentimes when I feel that coming in as I, I do a lot of praying for the people, for all of the that, that God would just come down and and touch, touch the people that, that uh, you know, that in seasons of worship, that word that we had, because we always enjoy his presence, whether we're sick or well, you know what I'm saying, that, that uh, uh, but you still want to see people get up and wait, I don't hurt anymore, I don't get yeah, yeah. to see that begin to, begin to happen, so I, a lot of times just say, Lord, come down, Lord, come down, Holy Spirit, come down, you know, and just okay. you know, calling him in, calling him down. And that's what that's what a pastor does. He intercedes for his people and makes sure that they're getting to the water and getting to the food and making sure that they are in, inside the fence of God's spirit and His word and and praying for sicknesses and you know, praise the Lord, mm-hmm. folks. Thank you for. I love these times we spend together. They're just so rich and so meaningful to us as we draw closer to each other and to the Lord. It's just. Uh, it's a really good feeling to know that we're in unity here and um, that we really love and care for each other. Mm-hmm. It's pretty amazing the hand of God on all of us to bring us together like we have.